Oh, you belong to this church and that your father's major one. But if people are watching to see how far the relationship will go. There was one pastor who texted me and said, uh, My father, I want to tell you that uh, God has told me to leave ECG and start my own. I said, I kiss you. <laughs> you see, there are people who would like to use your systems to be popular, to be known. When they advertise and they become famous and they say God has said they should start their own thing. Why, why, were they, why didn't God tell them in the beginning? I said to you, and whosoever shall follow you, I said you are cursed. I said if I be a prophet, if a case will not follow you today, I, I resign in ministry. You see, if, if you are being released in ministry, come, it must involve me. It must involve, if God has said it, it must involve me. I should release you in peace. I should say, oh, yeah, God has said, I should release my son. That son is supposed to come to me. And I should say, oh, yeah, 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 God has said it, and I'm releasing you. Not where people want to, to use your systems to become popular. And when I now know they say, God has said, I should leave, I said, I curse you. I said, whosoever shall follow you, I curse. He said, ah, papa. Ah, what do you mean? I said, you are cursed. All my leaders can't be working day and night just for you one day to bring your own system that is against what God said. I said, if God told me, I said, if God told me, I would have told you myself. Which God now? Now, listen to this, and I want you to hear this. This is very important. Very important. I want you to get this in your mind because somebody's contract first thing in the morning will be signed at the end of this video i want you to answer two questions to yourself number one can your pastor ever be wrong and number two if that happens in the community or the church you belong to what would you do about it welcome as we get to discuss one important topic i think i've discussed about this before sometime last two years but i think it's also important to discuss about this now after a couple of videos i stumbled upon if you are part of a church and you decide to change your denomination to another denomination or maybe you are part of a particular fold and you decide to be more of like you know what i'm moving to this country and maybe in this country there's another church community over there i can't be part of believing with the whole concept of the body of christ or would i say whatever concept you believe in as a christian that defines the right church for you to be in would you for any reason decide to change the denomination you belong in and even if you do so what criteria defines your changing of a denomination i came across this video of a pastor a prophet from malawi who recently left south africa due to some allegations and charges against him prophet bushiri if you know his genealogy or his spiritual fathers it goes all the way back to someone that also holds him to a high esteem as well pastor chris Oyakilome. but of course if you watch me over time i always discuss people based on their links their associations their fathers their spiritual grandfathers and the rest of you because you have to understand these relationships if you never knew this is a video where he got to talk about him laying curses on the pastor a pastor that was about to leave him and also laying curses on anyone that follows that particular pastor. And when I came across this video, I was just wondering to myself, what is really going on? Now, you might be disagreeing to what he's saying in the comments because he is not your pastor. But what if your pastor was the one doing the exact same thing? Laying curses on anyone that gets to leave his ministry? Or would I say, wishing those who had left his ministry evil because they have left the fold of which he himself is pastoring? You have to understand that some of you watching right now, maybe before you became, maybe the church you belong in right now was not the church you were born into or the church your parents attend. You will know. Maybe you left home, went to school, and then you joined another community. And maybe from being someone in the Orthodox right now, you are Pentecostal. Or maybe from being Pentecostal right now, you are Orthodox. Or maybe by virtue of you getting married, you have changed the church you go to because, of course, a family that prays together to a great extent stays together. But when a pastor gets to say this because of the organogram and the systems he functions by to the congregation, talking about cursing pastor a pastor that says he wants to leave now he might be looking at it in the other way from his standpoint now i have discussed about prophet bushiri for some time those who are his followers if you see them in the comments they know that he has fixed them um, a miracle of him walking on the air they cannot deny that ask them that question 
also the miracle of him taking a picture of someone in the sky of a baby for the parents a lot of things that have trended about him also the miracle money shenanigan stuff as well he's also part of those nonsense and you see these things that get to happen in the body of christ with people of this track record and you understand the systems he's talking about most times the proliferation of certain things that happen in the body of christ by people who call themselves pastors and prophets some of them might be genuinely called but because they want to also buttress or show some kind of power because many people are driven by power not even more about how much of christ is being revealed to them by a man but mainly by the manifestations and things that they're able to see with their eyes even though most of them are fake like we have exposed many of them i mean the acts that they get to put out there so you now get to wonder to yourself what system is he talking about or is he talking about the fact that some of these pastors might have used his platform to get popularity? If someone uses your platform to get popularity and gets known and also wants to branch out to do his own thing, whether you like it or not, that person remains a branch of you. Except the person is branching out to somewhere else to start his own ministry and the person is, is being totally opposite of you. But so far as the person submits to you as quote unquote the father in the Lord, the person is being seen in the light of you as well. I don't know if you understand. And that is what gets to happen because if you watched my video where we looked at Joshua Sermon and then the pastor that talked about three main cardinal points of spiritual abuse in churches, well, he talked about the fact of people themselves who believe or pastors who believe that before God speaks to you, God has to speak to them first. No more discouragement in your life. Pastors, there is no church where people don't live. Hello? You better know that. Jesus is the greatest pastor. One day, he lost everybody. <laughs> Remaining only 12. <laughs> he said, will you also go away because I want to start afresh? Yeah. Amen. Just love people. Yes. Just have your, their goodwill in your heart. Yes. Amen. Wish everybody well. Yes. It will remain well with you and your ministry. Yes. Wish everybody well. There is no shouting about. You are not the savior, and you are not the owner of the floor. He owns the floor. Amen. And many will be called into ministry from that ministry and doing great things for God. You can imagine if I kept uh, David here all his life to be head usher. <laughs> Amen. See what God is doing through him. Amen. If I told Paul, come after me, you will come. And then all this coat you are wearing now may not be there. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. I told you what one of our elders said, what of those who cannot make to Canaan. I said, there are other churches around. Amen. I, mean, I was saying that not to put anybody off, but I won't let the feelings of people make me miss God. Can I hear your amen? amen. Somebody's soul is changing. Amen. Don't turn anybody's departure to a message. That's not the word. People have problems. They want to have their problems solved. Somebody went to Yongicho's place. He said he wants to talk about Iraq. <laughs> Yongicho said, look, people are sick. They are hungry. They don't know anything about Iraq. <laughs> Which they escaped to them. He said, no, the Lord told me to speak. <laughs> A drama took place in that church. <laughs> so while he was preaching, Yongicho was interpreting the message they need to hear. He, he took up the interpretation that day. And the man doesn't hear Korean. So, when they saw people clapping, he said, but you said they won't like that message, he said they like it. <laughs> of course, I am not done with this video. If I were the one to speak, probably you'd be angry in the comments and looking for what to say. That is why I had to play the video of Bishop David Oyedepo. So maybe, if you're okay with what Bushiri himself is doing, then if you have anyone to attack, attack your general.